<clears throat> hey guys, I'm Brian Ozone and welcome to the Brian Ozone YouTube channel. So today, it seems we've got a new show coming our way. It seems that Boba Fett has been greenlit for a live TV show on Disney Plus. So, um, I have He's No Good to Me Dead, Boba Fett series. He's no good to me dead is what he says to Darth Vader and Empire Strikes Back when they're using the Carbonite system on Han Solo to test it to make sure that it will work for Luke Skywalker so Darth Vader can bring Luke to the Emperor and not need to worry about him fighting or trying to escape. So that's why he wanted to put him in the Carbonite in the first place. So the Star Wars, so the Boba Fett series heads into production this coming week. Um, was this part of the plan? And if. If it was, it was very tight-lipped. Last week, the Mandalorian brought Boba Fett back from the dead. Now, according to a trade report, Lucasfilm has greenlit a solo miniseries about the newly resurrected bounty hunters. Bounty Hunter. Rumors about a possible Boba Fett series date back to the early 2019. But Tamara Morrison, the person who played Django Fett, which now is going to be playing Boba Fett because um, that's who he would be uh, grown into as a boy. He would grow up to look like Django Fett because he was an unaltered clone without uh, any chips to put inside him to make him more docile, uh, no growth acceleration. So it's kind of like Django Fett just wanted to have a son, an unaltered son. Uh, so, so it says again, but Tamara Morrison's appearance at the end of chapter 9 seemed to cement Lucasfilm's plan to bring Boba Fett back into the light. Much of the future of Star Wars seems tied to Disney+, Plus, with several live-action series already in the works. Uh, Cassian Andor and Obi-Wan Kenobi foremost among them the animated bad batch which we got a glimpse in um on the last the, the final series that they had on disney plus they were in a few of the episode the final episodes on there uh Bob Iger, former Disney CEO, indicated that the success of The Mandalorian would lead to spin-offs sets within that corner of the universe. If Boba Fett is the first among those spin-offs, Lucasfilms is coming out swinging. The trade report indicated that Lucasfilms has been keeping their development of this series and possibly others like Ahsoka Tano close to the vest. And for that reason, we're unable to confirm a start of production or who might be working on this project. However, should production start, 
start up over the next few weeks, we should hope to have some official news uh, made come to life about the, the, the Boba Fett show. Uh, you know, uh, did uh, Lucasfilm and Disney aren't stupid. They knew what they were doing with The Mandalorian. Coming out with a series about a nobody bounty hunter that can that brings back the best bounty hunter of all time and I'm not talking about the uh, dog the bounty hunter I'm talking about Boba Fett of course so um we already know that Ahsoka Tano is going to make an appearance in this episode in this series somewhere somehow with Sabine Wren, because at the end of Rebels, they leave together. And who plays Sabine Wren? None other than Sasha Banks, the WWF wrestler. So, um, so we have the the Mandalorian. We have Ahsoka Tano spinoff, Boba Fett spinoff. Um, and possibly others. They've, uh, if I read it right, they've already have completed four, um, they've completed four seasons. And maybe that's why uh, last week when I was talking about a possible Mandalorian movie coming out, is because now that they're so far ahead in production of having this series, this season done, plus two others, now they can have time to sit back and relax and do a movie, uh, which would be great. I am. I would love a Mandalorian movie, get into more of uh, Baby Yoda's story, uh, try to figure out what the hell a Yoda is, you know? Um, a lot of unanswered questions. So. Okay. So, I have, uh, there's a Star Wars book uh, to put a depressing twist on one of the scariest creatures, the Wampa. When fans first saw the Wampa in Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, audiences were terrified of the beast. That attempted to kill Luke Skywalker on Hoth, only for the Jedi to make a quick escape in the upcoming anthology book. It's called a From a Certain Point of View, The Empire Strikes Back. The author is Mark Oshiro, O-S-H-I-R-O. Now, Mark Oshiro promises that he will offer new insight into the previous one-dimensional beast that he claims will put up will put an all-new perspective on the creature while we'll have to wait till November 10th which is only a couple of days away gang it's not that far uh, to grab a copy of the book sci-fi wire offered an excerpt from the specific story entitled Hunger. Given how little screen time the monster is given in the film, Oshiro detailed the monster is given into the film. Oshiro detailed the freedom he had to explore more about the character 
and the existing mater the material that influenced key details about the beast. There's materials that does exist that addresses the presence of wampas in the caves below the Hoth rebel base. Oshiro revealed uh, to the outlet for example, there are some pretty cool deleted scenes that were meant to show us Wampa attacks on the base. That's technically an established story. And so I wondered why the Wampers would attack humans. I did a lot of research and there's a lot which was super helpful in establishing them as a sort of apex predator on Hoth. All that went into how I approached the mindset of a Wampa. Star Wars means a lot to me, so I actively... So I actively actively wanted to create something that felt very much like it belonged in the world. The new anthology book is comprised of 40 different surprising ca supporting characters from The Empire Strikes Back, some of which are merely entertaining explorations of of obscure, obscure channel character sorry i'm sorry hold on obscure characters while others offer key insight into the overall trajectory of the creatures the author explained that another key component that drove his story was a preference Luke Skywalker actor Mark Hamill made about how out of the character it was for the hero to attack the animal. That's the idea I ran with. And we're back. Sorry, doorbell ring. So... Uh, I left off that Luke Skywalker, actor Mar Mark Hamill, made about how out of character it was for the hero to attack the animal. That's the idea I ran with. Let's dig into the Wampa's hunger. How did it, be how did it come about? So I connected the dots which are the Wampas attacking people on the base? Why was that one so hungry? The whole story came together pretty quickly, Oshiro confessed. The joy of the, f of the first from a certain point of view anthology was how incredible it was to have a scene given a new context with different perspective. I wanted to show that the Wampas desire for home, a family, and sustenance. Things that humans can relate to. We're accidentally threatened by this moral act. We obviously want the rebels to win, and they had a good reason to hide on Hoth, on Hoth. Yet sometimes, even with the purest intent, we hunt other people. In this case, the rebels' intent, we hurt other people. In this case, the rebels displaced a family and had no idea. From a certain point of view, the Empire Strikes Back hits shelves November 10th, 2020. You know, there's also a bunch of outtakes. Um, 
there's one outtake that stands out is um, it, it, in the Huff base itself, they have a door, I guess, where they would capture um, the Wampas that got into the base. I, I would assume that they would uh, shoot them with a dart to knock them out. And what they would do is they would put them all in this room that they had. Now, this is an outtake um, that when Han, Leia, and 3PO are trying to get to Leia's ship to, to get her off Hoth, and then um, that hallway collapses they got to turn around and go back to where the falcon is and han says i'll get her out on the falcon well there's a door with a sticker on it i guess that has a, a wampa sticker on it like uh, do not enter wampas are in here so 3po peels it off um, and then when the Imperials get in the base, the stormtroopers open the door and a Wampa comes out, grabs one, brings him in, and then the stormtrooper shuts the door real quick behind him. Um, I think they should have left that in the movie. I, I mean, it's three... 10 seconds, you know, it, 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 it's a little humor, it's, it's funny, um, I don't know why it was cut, um, but it was, but I mean, you can see all these outtakes, if you, uh, if you look for them, you can find them, so, so, um, also, Today at 4 o'clock, uh, Target's going to have the, the Mandalorian Remnant Troopers. Uh, I believe it's for the Black Series. Um, so, I hope everybody gets to get at least one. Because as we know, these uh, Target figures sell out faster than you know a blink of an eye which is getting ridiculous um you're gonna have a pre-order i don't i don't think that pre-orders that there should be a stop to a pre-order you're pre-ordering a toy so I, I i believe i mean even if we don't get the figure until april open the pre-order today let it run for a day or two. Get as many as you can get made. Um, let everybody be able to get at least one or two. Uh, it's it's just not fair. So, yeah, check out Target at four, and uh, they should have that figure up. Or it's uh, it, it, the Target figures are the worst to get. They sell out super fast. Um, so, all right, guys, I want to thank you for watching the Brian Ozone YouTube channel. I ask if you would please invite your Star Wars friends and family um, to watch and hopefully subscribe to my show. Um, I also have... Uh, I also have um, a Facebook group. It's called Star Wars Everything and Anything. And it's a buy, sell, trade discussion group where you can buy, sell, trade anything Star Wars and you can discuss anything Star Wars. So uh, I hope you guys also take a look at that and join that group and Get your friends to join with you, and um, we can have a large uh, community there as well. 
So again, I'm Brian Ozone, and thank you for watching the Brian Ozone YouTube channel. Until next time, guys. Thanks a lot. May the force be with you.